recipe for Living's cooking channel. Today we're going to show you how to make a copycat recipe for Kentucky Fried Chicken's famous coleslaw. Keep watching to see exactly how we do it and learn to make your own. Here's everything you'll need to make the copycat KFC coleslaw. A half a cup of mayonnaise, one third of a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of milk, a quarter cup of buttermilk, two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, one and a half tablespoons of white vinegar, a half teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. So that's everything you'll need to make the KFC copycat coleslaw dressing. Now in order to make the slaw, you'll need a head of cabbage, which you'll chop finely in the food processor, a medium carrot, which you'll also chop finely, and two tablespoons of minced onion. Now I'm going to show you how to combine all the ingredients to make the KFC copycat coleslaw dressing. So first you'll start with a half cup of mayonnaise, which you'll put into a large mixing bowl. Next, you'll take your third cup of white granulated sugar and add that to the mayonnaise. Then add a half cup of milk, which is the quarter cup of buttermilk plus quarter cup of regular milk combined together. Use two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Then you'll use one and a half tablespoons of the vinegar. Make sure you don't put too much in. It won't taste good. And then to wrap it up, you'll just do a half teaspoon of salt or an, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper to taste. Make sure to mix that all together. Your mayo is going to look really chunky, but mix it all in. Next, you're going to combine all of your vegetable ingredients into your coleslaw to give it that nice texture and flavor. So to start, you'll take two tablespoons of onions and add it to your cabbage. Then add in the medium carrot that you chopped up earlier. And then feel free to use your hands just to toss it lightly. You don't want to break all the vegetables. So now that you have your vegetable mixture and your sauce mixture, you can pour the sauce right over the coleslaw. After you pour your sauce on your coleslaw, stir it again. Right now you're preparing it to sit in the fridge for at least four hours before eating, just so that the sauce has time to soak into the cabbage and really give it that nice flavor. Once you pull it out of the fridge four hours after you're done making it, you can feel free to add more spices like salt, pepper, and paprika just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Thank you so much for watching our video today and we hope to see you on Recipe for Living's cooking channel next time.